The story takes place after a giant war ended a few years ago. We are introduced to the Black Cat Cafe, which is located in the Imperial Capital. During the battles, the Warring Nations created advanced mechanical dolls that are known as Automata. After the fighting stopped, there was no need for Automata dolls to be used in combat. Since that day, the dolls have totally lost their original purpose. Now we are introduced to Heza Kura. She is a doll that is working in the Black Cat Cafe. Many of the dolls have been reproposed to do mundane work in the coffee shop. They wear kimono outfits and serve customers. Many of the automata have adjusted to their new way of life, but there are still those who have nightmares and remember what they did in their past. Heizakura was actually programmed and her memory has been wiped. Now she does not remember her past at all. The only thing she does remember is her love for singing and music. She tries to find out more about her identity and past. Heizakura hopes that one day she will find out what her true purpose and goal is. Heizakura gets used to her new life and she meets the other dolls in the Black Cat Cafe. Also, she finds out that there are robot workers in the shop as well. These robot workers seem to be older model dolls who are not so advanced. Later in the day, Heizakura and Jekka go into town to buy eggs. They get into trouble with the townspeople and the guards there. Heizakura gets them out of trouble with her singing. Later, they manage to find the eggs they need, but they also explore the town. Heizakura wants Jekka to achieve her new dream and move on from the war. Jekka remembers how she was a fighter who killed many robots and was always in some sort of battle. Naji Toma is doing maintenance work on a doll called Haukaboshi. She has not been able to speak for quite some time. Maji tries to figure out what is wrong with her parts, but he can't find a solution. Later in the day, Haukaboshi helps Heizakura learn how to prepare omelets. She then shows Heizakura her past and what she was doing during the war. Haukaboshi was very active in the military and she had a unit she really cared about. Haukaboshi in the present hasn't been able to talk since the war. Heizakura later talks with Karasuba to try and find a solution to help her friend Haukaboshi. Heizakura later once again sees Hakuboshi's past with their memories being linked. It seems that Hakuboshi has major trauma from the war and blames herself, that is the reason she is unable to speak. Finally, with the help of Heizakura, Hakuboshi manages to deal with her trauma and find out that her platoon members did not blame her for anything. We see some soldiers activate a doll in an empty warehouse. This doll starts to activate and her eyes shine brightly and it seems she is really dangerous. Afterward, we return to the dolls in the coffee shop. Hakaboshi can now finally talk and she is great friends with Heizakura. The girls have started to sing to attract more customers. This plan has been working really well as the shop has been making more and more money. While Karasuba was at first skeptical, she now thinks Heizakura has potential with her singing. Karasuba and Heizakura sing but they get into an argument. Karasuba has a body that was made out of spare and old parts. She was saved in the war by Nanji who gave her those body parts. Now she does not want to change anything as Nanji means too much to her in their journey. Heizakura learns about all this and finds new respect and admiration for Karasuba. Nagi finds a new doll model that has been abandoned. It seems that she was a very new model developed at the end of the war. She was deactivated and smuggled over the borders for some sort of attack planning. Nagi then finds her and decides to give her a job at his coffee store and help her find a new life. This new doll starts to work with the others and especially with Heizakura. She is perfect at everything she does. She even surpasses Heizakura in just one single day. The two dolls share a room and during the night a crazy reveal happens. This new doll is actually specialized to be a spy and infiltrate enemy ranks. She thinks the war is still happening and the coffee shop is her new target. This new doll is called Retzel and she starts to create trouble for Heizakura. It's soon revealed that Retzel basically feels without purpose and wants someone to kill her. She gets into trouble with soldiers and almost gets destroyed. Heizakura arrives just in time to save her. The dolls in the Black Cat Cafe want to organize a concert. Heizakura goes to talk with Nagi and manages to convince him to go ahead with a plan. The girls then go into town to find other singers, an audience, and everything they need to pull off the concert. Heizakura also tries to create flyers for the concert, but Hakabushi has to help her. Finally, the dolls find great costumes for the performance and they also plan the songs and choreography. Finally, the event starts and it's a great success with the crowd having a lot of fun. Nagi is on a business trip, so the dolls are in charge of the Black Cat Coffee Shop. They prepare a special ice cream for their guests. Heizakura has an accident and ruins the new ice cream. Now they do not have a new attraction and Heizakura wants to sing for the customers. She also wants Jekka to join her. Jekka is too shy and does not like to be in front of many people. Sudden Jekka is survived by an elderly couple who tells her that they want to adopt her. They really start to make Jekka be emotional as they show up every night to support her. Soon it's revealed that the two of them are just spies. Jekka shoots them but unlike her past self, she does not kill her target. The Capital Fair performance that the dolls were planning might be cancelled. 
Gekka has not been showing to practice for a while and the atmosphere in the store is not the best. All the dolls are really sad about this but Gekka gives them motivation. She knows how important the capital fair is so they must try and find a way to perform for people and hold the event. She is finally ready to fight for what is important. Naji has been missing for a while and for that reason Karasuba is in a bad mood. Heizakura takes her on a trip so that she can get her mind off the problems. Soon Naji and Karasuba are reunited and Heizakura deepens her friendship with Karasuba. Naji is now in the hospital recovering from his injuries. It seems that the Imperial faction kidnapped him but he managed to free himself. In the meantime, Heizakura sings songs for the kids in town. She is sad when Karasuba tells her it's time to leave. Soon the dolls prepare the shop for when Maggie returns home. Naji in the meantime finds out some really worrying information about the automata. Heizakura also meets another doll and this one does not have any memories of the war. That same night, this mysterious doll activates her red eyes and she awakens the other robots in the house. Soon a giant explosion erupts as the robots burn down the shop. Naji arrives to investigate what happened in the explosion. In the meantime, all the dolls go into town to live with people. They try to adapt to normal life with others. Yaka actually meets that elderly spy couple who worked for the Imperial forces. They apologize and she decided to stay with them and help out. Naji goes back to the house to inspect the doll called Kika, which seemed to have started a robot rebellion. Kika wakes up and remembers Nagi from when he was just a boy. Kika has no idea that the war is over, she still thinks there are more enemies to defeat. Nagi gives her a makeover and tells her that she is now called Haikagura. The day after, all the dolls gather to sing in front of a crowd. Haikagura starts to sing and deactivates some of the dolls. Heizakura also falls down after saying traumatic memory flashes. Haikagura then activates a robot army ready for combat. All the robots get activated and start attacking humans. Explosions erupt all over the city. Nagi tries to stop Kika, but she is too powerful now. The other dolls, including Heizakura, manage to escape and regroup. Soon Nagi remembers that Kika is part of a sister combination of dolls. Her other sister is Oka, and the two of them were very powerful. They fought in the war, and after the battle, they lost all their memories. Nagi grew up with both Oka and Kika, and was heartbroken with what happened to him. Also, it's revealed that Heizakura is a robot bunny that was evolved into a doll. In the present, Heizakura stops Kika from hurting any more people. The city is still under attack by robot armies. The dolls and Nagi try to rush to safety and fight some of the robot attackers. Heizakura is barely holding on as she has wasted a lot of her power during the battle with Kika. Heizakura knows that she must use everything she has to save her friends and others. After spending the last of her strength, she manages to stop the robots and the attack is done. Months go by and Nagi works to repair Heizakura. Finally, she wakes up without her memories and with some damage. When she meets with the other dolls, all of them are emotional as they have missed her. Heizakura tries to work, but it seems that the damage is too great. She wants to be rested and repaired. This means she will truly forget everything. Heizakura and the other dolls sing one final song as a way to celebrate their new life.